we were looking for a diversion, something to do on weekends, three day weekends, because we typically spend most of our time at the beach. And uh, Hurricane kind of took our favorite spot out of the picture. So I said, okay, let me go pick up one of these booklets. And I did so at the Perry uh, Farm Bureau office. And I picked her up after an appointment and we just headed straight out to uh, Pearson Farm. Got some ice cream and some nuts. And so we thought that's, it's, it's a no brainer. We can get a free t-shirt out of this by hitting 10 spots. Well, we ended up having so much fun and I started logistically planning trips for the weekend that we would actually go and I would map out using MapQuest multi-stops. It was a challenge, it was enjoyable, it was nice to meet so many people and again, the, as Skip said, the places we went and the food, the treats were excellent. I grew up on what I refer to as a play farm. I grew up in um, a southern town um, south of here and we had horses and goats and pigs and it was just livestock. Um, we, we didn't farm like a lot of the major agricultural cotton um, or corn, but it was enjoyable so I grew up around that. We, we went as far as Kingsland over in East Brunswick, uh, Dixie, all the way up to Ringgold, over to Lakemont, Savannah, Columbus, everywhere in between. I found a 15-year-old road atlas that was stuck down underneath the entertainment center. I put it out on the table and, and circled every single location that we were gonna go. And then I used uh, the MapQuest multi-stop function and uh, the websites from all the different certified farms to see when they're open, whether it's weekdays, weekends, if there's a certain window that they're only open, and mapped out our route and we would hit that route and go from place to place. And as we, um, we visit each, we highlighted where we'd been on that map in, in yellow. And there were only four locations that we did not hit. And that was really by the virtue of the drought season shortening uh, strawberry picking time. I mean, that was the only reason we didn't hit those last four. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a diversion. It, it, and I would go to work on, you know, Monday morning and your coworkers ask you, what did you do this weekend? And I would say, oh, we visited farms around Georgia. And they're like, really? What are you, how are you, why? why are you doing that? And so I would have an opportunity to explain the passport program. The beauty of the program, it advertises what is already around you and available that people may not be aware. Because a lot of the farmers, they aren't, they don't have billboards up like Ellis Brothers or, uh, or lanes, but they're out there. And some of them are just feeding the members of their local community. They're, they're feeding them the squash and the okra and the tomatoes or the, or the pork or the beef. And for those that like to get out, that like to do a little agritourism, there's your motivation. Go beyond um, your locale and visit some of these people. They love to have you. Yes, they would. And if you'd like to find a CFM near you, maybe do the skip and anything thing and try hitting them all, head over to gfb.org, click on the Outreach tab, followed by the Certified Farm Market link, then get out that old trusty road atlas like Skip did and plot your course.